Hello, I am Alexis Morris. I am a third grade teacher at Riverside Elementary in Cattle Parish. I am most passionate about mental health of students, STEM concepts, and phonemic awareness. In this video, you will see my third grade English language arts class in action as I am teaching from the Louisiana guidebooks. Today, I am doing lesson six, which is differentiating between literal and non-literal language, also known as idioms. Okay, now what I did prior to the lesson, I annotated the lesson to my students' needs. I have three parts to my lesson. Part one is the daily class affirmation and bell ringers and vocabulary word of the day and some phonemic awareness. Part two is the actual guidebook lesson with the I do, we do, and the you do for the students. And the third part is exit ticket, and I will have my students into center rotations according to the latest data I have received from the cultivated writing task, the cold reading task, and other assessments the guidebook has as well. So the important information to know about my students, they are so awesome. They, learn, they love to learn. Many of the kids in this class call me mom because they believe I'm a true nurturer, which I don't mind at all. And I'm just so grateful and blessed to have these students in my class. This lesson connects to my goals because I want my students to learn the difference between reality and exaggeration as well tied along into this. Now the adaptations are my centers, also extended time, prompting, modeling for those students, showing them how to differentiate between literal and non-literal language, phrases and thoughts. Okay, now anything else that's relevant for you all to know, um, I love teaching. I've been teaching for 18 years now, and I really hope that you enjoy the Louisiana Guidebooks lesson. Transition. Participation, and my participation is important, is important to the classroom environment. To the classroom environment. I am not a test score. I am not a test score. Nor just a student ID number. Nor just a student ID number. I am someone. I am someone who will be. Who will be a purpose. A purpose in society. In society. It is up to me. It is up to me to put my best foot forward. Don't press the button yet. It has a button on the 
bottom. When I count to one, then you turn it on. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay? Now, I'm going to read a group of words. If it's a sentence, you hold it up. If it is not a sentence, if it's a fragment, hold your light up, okay? Now, you need to put your lights away. Put them down, okay? Go ahead and put them down for right now. Okay? Okay, let's look at number one. Dr. Morris is sentence, fragment. All right, good job. Okay? Number two, LaPon reminds me of my brother. Sentence, fragment. Okay, goofy trick. Sentence, fragment. I'm so glad you all got that because notice it has one type of letter. Capital, and it has a what? You hear it. Doesn't mean it's a sentence. No. Number four, Goofy should have used better judgment. Sentence? Okay. Fragment. Okay. Number five, Lapin ate all. Sentence? Fragment. Okay. Number six, Lapin hid the cake and butter. Sentence? Fragment. Good job. Give yourself a hand. Great job. Should your light still be on? No. They should be on. Thank you so 
so much. Thank you for following the directions. For example, if I say it's raining cats and dogs, is it really raining? When it rains, do we really see cats and dogs? No. No, I don't see cats and dogs flying. That's, that's not good if they really do. Okay? So what do you think it may mean, the non-literal? We have the literal over here, and we have the non-literal. Vast class, what do you think that means? It's raining it's raining really hard and it's a bad storm going on. Okay, the difference between literal and non-literal meanings, I'm going to let you look at a brief video and I'm gonna stop it when you hear some non, some literal language, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Hello and good afternoon. Today's lesson was very exciting, very wonderful, and I would like to do a debrief of the lesson. Yes, my objectives were met because students knew the difference between literal and non-literal language. They knew what certain sayings meant instead of taking it for what it said. What I would do next time in my lesson is actually have more pictures and more figurative language so that they can identify, even have them in paragraphs, just in case if these are on the LEAP 2025 um, state exams. Um, what I did after the video, the students were in their own, they were in pairs, and I had four different types of non-figurative language, and they had to tell me what it meant. Group one had a figurative language quote, group two as well, very different from group one, group three had a different one, and group four. And then we all came together as a class and discussed it. We also went into our daily group rotations. I had five stations. I had the knowledge packs, the phonemic awareness, fluency, topic sentences, and mentor sentences, all coming from guidebooks, all dealing with Unit 2, La Palm Plays Possum, Cajun Folk Tales, so they could know and build better evidence on what to do for the cultivated writing and extension and code read task. Anything else I want the panel to know? 
No, because I hope that you got to see some engagement in the video. I really hate it. It was 10 minutes, but it's okay because I did manage to carry out the lesson. The students were wonderful. They were eager. They were attentive like they always are. And I really appreciate that class, a whole overall third grade class. So that this is the debrief of my lesson, and I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day.